Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ben from Rook Films and today I'm going to show you how to make this walk by transition. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is open up a new composition. I'm just gonna keep this 1920 by 1080, even though my footage is 4K. I'm just keeping it 1920 by 1080 just so the rendering process can be a little bit easier. I'm gonna rename this walk by. Set the comp to 15 seconds, and then my frame rate is 24 frames per second. Make sure the frame rate is corresponding to your actual footage. I'm gonna click OK. And then I'm just gonna click over here in the left and bring in my folder with my footage in it. I'm gonna select the one where Jared actually walks by. I gotta scale this down, my footage a little down a little bit to fit the comp. And I'm just going to scrub through the timeline to the point when he actually starts to walk by. Right about now, okay. So I'm gonna stop it right the frame before, and I'm gonna edit, split layer, and then I can just delete the beginning and move this to the beginning. So now we have just the, fr just the clip where he walks by. Cool, and I'm gonna, yeah, that's resolution on third, just so that we can render this a little bit better. So I'm gonna go to the first frame where he actually walks by, or creates an opening with his legs. So at this point, there's nothing really to rotoscope. I mean, there's a little tiny bit right there, but that's very um, minuscule. So I'm just gonna bring over the, the preview tab. If you don't see your preview tab, just go to window and uh, and then click on the preview tab if you don't see it. But we're just gonna click on our on our footage and click on the next frame button and that'll just move us forward one frame. And right about here, we're gonna go up here. You can either click the pen tool or click G on the keyboard. That'll bring up your pen tool. And then we're also gonna hit H and just zoom in a little bit here so we can get a better look and move this, the H tool is the hand tool that kind of moves you around. So I'm just going to move it over here and I'm going to click G and then I'm just going to make a little mask around the portion that he is not covering anymore. I'm going to get it relatively close to his leg, cutting off a little bit of his leg because we're going to do some feathering and we'll move back up and select the mask. Okay, cool. We'll go back, fit up to 100%. And as you can see, we're only selecting this portion that I just rotoscoped out but we don't want that we want it to be the opposite so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on my footage click m to bring up the mask and then go over here and switch it to subtract so we're subtracting the area that we just rotoscoped instead of adding it and then we're going to click the stopwatch on the mask path so that's going to start our mask path now all you need to do from here is just click next frame and then again we're going to click h zoom in and then I'm gonna click V to bring up my, um, my actual cursor. And then I'm just gonna move these points to where he is now. Cause we just moved forward a frame so his position has changed. Now I'm just going to move this up. And I wanna cut more into his leg. I don't wanna be showing a lot of the light that we're getting from this light source. It's kinda of coming on his legs and I don't we, we don't want that. And then as well, what you can do is click F on the keyboard for on the mask when you have the mask selected and just feather this a little bit. I think I did 50 in the original, but you can just kind of see what works. Maybe 38 just to give it some a little bit of motion blur. And you can see this is not what we want. We don't want this little light lit up area right here. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. And now you can see if we click M again and zoom in, we have two keyframes, one from the start. I'll just fit this back up to 100. And if we move forward one, you can see that the mask has moved because we, we created the stopwatch. So it's changing with the footage. Now all you have to do is just repeat this process for the rest of the frames that he is, that he is in. So I'm gonna time lapse through this process, but it's a pretty simple process. Uh, just do that and then uh, watch the rest of the tutorial.
Okay, so now that that's done, we can see all these little keyframes that I've made, and you can see the mask change as Jared walks by. See all these little keyframes, they just keep going until every last piece of that leg at the very end is gone. And then now all we have to do is we can close that up and bring in the footage layer that you want to transition to. So in the original I used, I believe it was this one right here. So once this is on the back, let me scale this down again. And we can either transition to this, so it might look something like this where he walks over and then it reveals this clip or it could be something different we might even put in this one and see how it looks let me scale this down and we can even transition to this let's let's take a look at how this looks and that in fact does look pretty cool so i think i'll just stay with that and there's the good old smile and remember you can pair this with with whatever clip you want to just make sure that the clip that you're rotoscoping needs to be on the top and the one that is being transitioned to needs to be on the bottom so guys that is the end of the video if you enjoyed this please leave a like and subscribe for future content my name is ben from rook films thank you for watching